Hello there, everyone. Uh, odd game choice, I fully understand that. But welcome to Wallace and Gromit's Grand Adventures, Episode 1, Fright of the Bumblebees. Now, um, yeah, I don't think I need tutorial. I've, uh, I've played Telltale games before. So I imagine, the question is, why the hell am I playing this game? And more importantly, what the hell is this game? Well, I mean, it's a Telltale game, as it says right there. I, th I This was pre-Walking Dead, so it is actually a bit more of a point-and-click adventure game, more than like an interactive story than you'd see with those later games. I imagine, at least. I've never played it before. So, this is going to be fun, so you guys get to see me stumble through a point-and-click adventure game, figuring out what the hell I'm doing. I'm playing this game in particular because, like, a month ago, I realized that the Wallace and Gromit episodes were available on Amazon Prime. I was like, oh, man, I gotta watch those again. Those are great. I love them. And, yeah, still great. I still love them very, very much. And when I was looking on Wikipedia just to see, like, Wallace and Gromit video games, like, that'd be such a weird thing. Like, do they exist? And, yes, a couple of them do. Project Zoo and Curse of the Whale Rabbit on PS2, GameCube, and Xbox. And then I found this game, for, uh, Grand Adventure. And it was, I was like, oh yeah, I own that. Alright. Pull the lever. I've watched Wallace and Gromit before. Oh yes, this actually does look pretty nice. perfect landing. Your turn to make breakfast, Gromit. Eggs, I think. Mm, that and does sound funny today. Step to it, lad. I'm famished. That is, uh, that is weird, all right. I'm referring to the fact that in this game, uh. Well, what did the postman bring us then? Any orders? Hand it over, lad. All right, you insist. Did you the... bring the mail, Gromit? Okay, automatically did it. That's fine then. Ooh, that sounds good. In the either way, as I was saying, in this game, Wallace is not voiced by his usual voice actor, Peter Salas. He's instead voiced by a official sound alike, I guess. I can't look at these before I have my breakfast. It's not bad. I'm listening to it. But it is a little bit it does sound weird. I can hear the difference, and it bothers me. But either way, in case you're, uh, in case you're curious about the game, and you're like, oh, huh, maybe I should play this. I wouldn't. I wouldn't really bother trying to look for the game, because it's uh, delisted. And not because of Telltale going out of business. This was delisted five years ago. Like, it was not available for very long, because Telltale, I guess, didn't have a very long license for it. And... So you can't get it anymore. Thankfully, I got it in a Humble Bundle before the game even came out. Oh, yeah, uh... Forgot, I actually have to use the keyboard in this game. out of bounds for now, Gromit. Had to use it for storage. Only temporary, mind. We'll need those crates once the orders start pouring in. Hmm. Uh, let's see, which of these leads to the kitchen? There we are. This is gonna sound really sad, but I'm actually very surprised how well this game is running right now. Telltale is... awful at this. Uh, I don't see any eggs in there. There we are. Okay, gotta make this Rube Goldberg machine work. Let's see. If I open this up. Okay, tea bags. Uh, can I shut the window? What does this do? 
Okay, well, I, I probably did want to set it what, to that. Uh, any bread in the bread box? Hey, something actually works for a change. But damn it. Listen, I will gladly close that window if you let me look at it. Let's see, what is this? Okay. Maybe I have to close it from outside. Walkies can wait, Grommy. I need me breakfast. Okay, then. I guess that's not the answer. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to hit that. Walkies can... I love the way the models just snap if you skip a line. What do you do? I just assume this is what a normal British kitchen looks like. And I am horribly confused, because I do not... It's... I don't think a phone's gonna work. I'm a dog. Hi, old Wallace. Van Heer here. Sorry to leave a message, but it's about that incident in the shop. That blinking mechanical mouse of yours has put me in a right pickle. I mean, it may be a sniffer 3000 with advanced cheese tracking capabilities, but it chewed through all me fancy tail and me red blister, too. Now, I know we've always been on good terms, but this morning I find myself not inconsiderably discombobulated. And I can't let it happen again, I'm afraid. I'm sorry to say that with the deepest regret, and following police advice, you and your blinking contraptions are banned from my establishment until further notice. Well, that's a shame. Uh, hold on. Oh, come on. Can I, like... Doesn't look like there's anything I can do to move the camera. Okay, can I do something with the butter, perhaps? If I can pick it up, I might as well try. Let's actually close the damn fridge. Okay. Now, uh, what button opens up my inventory? Oh. Oh, that's nice. Hold down tab, it, like, highlights what things you can use. Okay. Doesn't seem like that's working correctly, but I was actually looking for how do I get my... There we go. Right click. Maybe if I do that, I can make their feet too slippery, and they won't be able to do anything. Let's try it. Okay. That was a poor idea. Okay, well, no, I just reset it. That's fine. Hmm. Something that's supposed to go on there, perhaps? Let me look at the various pieces. It seems like that's about all we got, so I need to find something that I can use to even put up there to begin with. Let's try the toaster again. I hope I have unlimited bread. There we go. Good, now a fall break his neck and die. Okay, and if we're lucky, he won't come back. Oh, I actually don't need tea. All right, that's good then. Uh, honey, what do I get? Where's the honey? Uh, I'd probably walk around a bit more. Oh, oh, crackers, of course. No cheese. No breakfast foods down there, Grommy. All right, then. Oh, hold, uh, hold on. Let me go back to the living room. I might... Maybe there's honey there. Don't waste it. Okay, I guess not. Maybe it is just restricted to the kitchen. Hmm. Anything else I can interact with? From it, in case you 
I just love the repertoire. Is there anything else in the fridge I perhaps missed? There's not. Let's see here. Oh, let's try it again. Yeah, that was perhaps my mistake. That part's good though, the tap. It's just I'm missing something up there, but I don't know where I can find it. I don't have anything in my inventory. I got toast. I don't think that's gonna do it though. I guess that's not the answer. Bread boxer. Hmm. Okay, well that's not the answer. Oh. It's a good thing I used up the last bits of bread. I mean, I'm thinking like, I would think maybe I could use that, but I guess not. Uh, let's see if I can find something in the dining room. Oh, that's the, that's the closet. And I couldn't skip it. Okay. Eh. Pretty specific on which part of the door I can click on. Uh, I can go upstairs. Eh, maybe there's something up here. The game let me go up here. That could be worth it. Ooh, some cheese. Eh, all cheese smells terrible. That doesn't mean anything. Don't push me buttons, Gromit. Give me the ability to pick it up. Why won't it let me do it? Alright, well, I got a tennis racket. That could be it. You won't find me breakfast. Oh, odd that only had a piece of dialogue now. Okay, but let's try the tennis racket. Okay, that was odd. Now let's see here. I have... Okay, well, I guess that's not the answer. Uh, what else could it be? One other thing I can think of is, oh, hold on. There's something down here. Click on the umbrella. Those dog tags I bought you, Robbie. Let's see. Maybe I didn't walk through this room enough. <sighs> so who do you think it was that came up with all those? Oh, that's B. Ouch. Well, that's a fine way to say good morning. Anything worthwhile in the trash? Hey, I don't know. That could be useful. That grommet was the sound of my belly. It's saying what I'm too polite to mention. Breakfast is late. Silicon flowers, grommet. A major contribution to our modern lifestyle. Certainly saves the effort of act. Ooh, the porridge gun. Grommet. Eh, made less of a mess than last time. You may not be able to buy this game anymore, but I absolutely recommend going out of your way to watch Wallace and Gromit. They are fantastic. Oh, there we go. Honey spell. Honey spigot. Honey spigot. Oh, 
honey pipe directly from the source. Everyone in town will want their own honey tap when word gets out. Oh, I got something done. We're two thirds of the way there now, guys. I just need to figure out what the hell I do with that. Don't waste your time in the nope. So I've basically walked around everywhere now. So, oh, uh, got my keys a little mixed up there. Maybe I can do something with this now. It was worth a try. Let me see. I've got the, yeah, the honey ain't gonna help. With nope, that's not it. Uh. Am I even supposed to be using the honey racket yet? Okay, no, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm looking for like a basket. That would make the most sense for something to be put up there. I'm sure there's like nothing else. Oh, hold on, there's something I could pick up. Okay. Nothing else I can click on? Nope. Okay. Well, let me take another quick look through the house. Oh, no. Not what I meant to click on. Nope. Also, not what I meant to click on. Huh. What the hell even are you? Mick a mixer, okay. Oh, I don't have anything worth mixing. No, uh, why do I keep thinking that this is the exit? Huh? Something happened? Odd. Hold on. Video output low? What are you talking about? According to OBS, it's fine. I don't know, maybe, is it just because it's a slow-paced game? I don't know, that might be it. It's just, it's a slow-paced game. Up here. You won't. Is there something I missed in here? First puzzle of the game, and I might need to look up a walkthrough. So, uh, you know. Any news on the breakfast front, Gromit? Oh, hold on. What's this? There's a button over. Oh, that's your button. Okay. Don't push me buttons, Gromit. Okay, I feel like I've looked at everything. Eggs, toast, and honey. I can practically taste the. Uh, okay. Hold on. Can I, uh. Okay, now there's no option to, like, show hint. Tennis racket. It's gonna mean something, I'm sure of it. Entry door, so for fine pan. Let's try that. Nope, that's not it. Nope. Um 
So, uh, guess who needs to look up a walkthrough? <sighs> I think this is the first, of, first time I've ever gotten stuck in a Telltale game. Aside from, uh, one... One puzzle in Strong Bad School Game for attractive people. Alright, game facts. What can you tell me? Honey, let's see here. Take the badger from the wheel. After giving the post to Walsh, you'll need to take Badger from the wheel, huh? Okay. I didn't see anything else in the room I could click on. Oh, was that upstairs? Oh, let me look in here again. What happens if I pull the lever? I'm down already from it. Okay. Still no breakfast. I'm beginning to suspect foul play. I'll be right here if you need me, nursing me up. Uh, when did it say? Oh, uh, first of all, you'll need to take the badger from the wheel. It says it, like, in this room. What are they talking about? Gromit was the sound of my belly. It's saying what I'm too polite to mention. Breakfast is late. I left a note on the fridge in case you forget. Eggs, toast, and honey. There's like nothing else in the room I can... Oh, hold on. Something else over here? Okay, I can't actually do anything with it, but it's there. Um... Listen, the walkthrough's telling me, take the badger from the wheel. And I I have no idea what it's talking about, you know? Is there something up here? It won't let me do that. Okay. Let's see if this other walkthrough has anything worthwhile. Say, uh... In the fridge. Was there something similar earlier with Wallace? Hey, no, it outright says it's with Wallace. Uh... Yeah, if this is what this is gonna look like, then this is what the whole playthrough is gonna look like. I'm very up. I'm very worried. I can talk to Wallace. I mean, talk is gonna be a bit of a. It's all part of your training. Uh, okay, I guess that was nag about the mail. I suppose I should at least pay the wool bill. Okay, there we go. That's what the hell they were talking about. Okay, so now that it's out, can I do something with there we go. Hey! That dog is getting a little too independent if you ask me. Okay then. So good news guys, we finally solved the first puzzle of the game. We're only half an hour in. I, I really hope that this does not take too long. Because I want to be able to beat one episode a day. A week, I, sh I sh suppose I should say. Alright guys, we're ready. I'll try and pay a little bit more attention from now on. Listen, you need to understand, this is an odd puzzle. Okay, there we go. Now it'll lightly tap the egg. The yolk goes down onto the frying pan. And thus begins to cook. And onto the plate. 
All right, we finally have it. And I for I thought this was the exit again. I may not be a very good dog. I'm just gonna... Okay, there we go. Well, YouTube says that my stream's okay again, so that's nice. Maybe it was just telling me that I needed to hurry the hell up. Any news on the breakfast front, Gromit? Hey, uh, use toast with Wallace. Done to with a plate. Turn. My compliments to the chef. Okay. There's one piece. I'm still waiting for the eggs and honey. Hey, yeah, I, I got him. Relax. There's the honey. Honey, how sweet of you, Gromit. <laughs> but I'm still one egg short of a breakfast. And egg. There we go. First puzzle Lucky of the game eggs. completed. Shook. Now that's what I call a breakfast feast. Wasn't so difficult, was it, lad? I had to look up a walkthrough to make breakfast. That is an amazing out of context sentence. Under me belt, I'm ready to take on the world. Gromit, I have a strange feeling this is the day our fortunes are going to change. Morning, Wallace. May I have a word? Um, uh, if it's about yesterday's uh, um, little mishap. Oh no, you see, I can assure you it, it was an accident, Mr. Pinnear, and I'll certainly pay for the damage to your grocery shop. I was just putting the Sniffer 3000 through its paces. It's still only a prototype, you know. Oh, I realize that, Mr. Wallace. And what better place to test out a cheese detector than in a shop with such an excellent selection of cheeses? I'm glad that he does that hand thing. You still have to pay for the damage, I'm afraid. Yes, of course. I'll put it all right. Though funds are, how can I put this, a little tight at the moment. Only until our new business is up and running. Aye, well, that's what I'm here to talk about. I understand you and Gromit are in the honey business now. Fresh deliveries daily, from me to you. <laughs> Ah, well, perhaps I can help you get on your feet. I'm Even though I guess I'm not allowed in the in the store. The Hello, Lemon King. And I'm clean out I can actually see the chat now, because for whatever reason, this 720p window is smaller than Jedi Academy and Hyperdimension Neptunia's 720p windows. Cancel your debt, and it will be good advertising for you. What do you say? I say. I say yes! We're in business, lad! Heads up, no time for slacking. From B to you has landed its first major order. 50 gallons of honey by tomorrow. I want this place to be a it tonight? hive of activity. It's your chance to show the world I cannot imagine what you do with 50 gallons of honey, all right? I have I have been to honey harvests. My dad used to. My dad is a registered bee harvest keeper, beekeeper, and as is my sister. Uh, we've we ha we used to have a beehive. I've been to honey harvests. I see the honey you make. I don't know what the hell you do with that much honey. All right, now I'm playing as Wallace. The magnetronic pollinator is the linchpin of the operation. That's how you spell linchpin? I thought it was the Y. get their huh. rations mechanically. No foraging in flower beds for them. Okay, what else? Let's, let's take a look at the beehive. Look alive in there. Ah. Alright, uh, what else can I interact with? Oh, I can also hit shift, but in my inventory, that might be a little more convenient. I don't always trust my, uh... Flowers. The perfect meal for a hungry hive. I don't always trust my mouse wheel button. My 3000. Too bad about the teasing problems. Still, this might come in handy. Ends the day. Let's see. Regard. That is an interesting command. Mm. 
Okay, well, looks like let's use that. I don't know why I still have the tennis rack. I mean, I don't have it. Gromit's got it, but something will happen, I'm sure. Okay, one down. Hundred to go. Flowers, Gromit. That's the weak link in our production chain. We need more flowers. Also, time it takes a lot of time to make honey. Now, where can I find a whole lot of flowers in a hurry? Flower shop would generally be my bet. Oh, yes. Weight gain. Perfect. <laughs> There we go, hold on to that. It, I'm telling you, it's going to be important. Beautiful morning, Mr. Wallace. I'm pleased to see you've emerged from your subterranean lair. There we go, in our trash. Perfect. No flowers in here. I was hoping maybe they'd be growing in the compost. That's better. I wonder what happened to his little cricket bat. Hey, if it's a tennis racket, we'll be good. Let's see, another entrance to the basement, I guess. Oh, and that leads back into the house, okay. My auto chef lost its head one day. Now it's me trusty Mixomatic. Okay, now I was trying to click on this one. Wow, the uh okay. I can peer down. Awfully long drop. Alright, well let's talk to our neighbor. Our uh, very polite neighbor, it would seem. I wish I had a run button. What does this do? Ah, the trousers. Still got them, I guess. It's doing something. He's a good kid. Been doing a spot of gardening, have you, Miss Flip? Working my green fingers to the bone. But the hard work appears to be paying off. Indeed it does. Blooms everywhere. I call it my purple paradise. Right. It's so Flowers detected. Release the bees. I mean, I imagine it would look delicious if you were an insect. You mean, if I were a bee? Well, now you mention it. You want to feed my flowers to your bees? That is Thankfully, that's not how it works. <laughs> How many would you like? Oh. As many as you can spare. Well, you can have all you want, Mr. Wallace. Oh, never mind. Oh, I'm a charmer. Much obliged, Miss Flip. Here, you can jolly well grow your own. Ah, never mind. Uh, right ho. I mean, if we just release the bees, we're good to go. That flower hasn't bloomed yet. I know it hasn't, the lazy thing. Yeah, you need to pollinate it. But the way you gotta get the bees. That's how this works. This flower will be the piece de resistance of my purple paradise. And the scent. Absolutely heavenly. I'm simply mad about the purple pansy. Alright, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna bother commenting on anything. Okay, well, I, I saw a garden. Uh, perfect. Let's see. Let's plant some flowers. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. There now. With hard work and a little luck, you should have a nice bed of flowers. 
summers in two or three months. Excellent. I can't wait two or three months. I've got a deadline this evening. Oh, you poor simple man. Nothing grows that quickly. I wonder. Rex Armstrong's oh. quick. There we go. I told you. Watch them sprout in seconds. Hmm. If it works on people, perhaps I could adapt it to work on flowers. Three miracle ingredients. Grow team, energize, strongium. Well, I need a miracle and fast. Shouldn't be too tricky to knock up a batch myself. Then we'll see who's got the grandest garden in West Wallaby Street. The hive will be humming in no time. Alright now, where's our first step? Oh, well, we're heading out. Let's see what we can find. What do you have to say there, sir? <laughs> Caught you! Can't take an old soldier by surprise. Morning, Major Crumb. It is, if you don't mind enemy invasions. I beg your pardon? Didn't you get my message? Received intelligence of a major air assault. Expect the silence. This is just an odd world. Hope you know where it's good. your dearest air raid shelter is. I do recall something about that. But Major Crumb, are you sure you're not mistaken? I know, I know. I've made predictions before, but I'm not trying wolf. This time, I've got proof. Uh, what is it? A jar? It's what's inside the jar that counts. Incontrovertible evidence that the enemy is on the move. Snail. Does it? I can only see a snail. You ever see the movie it's Turbo? A snail. But what's she trying to tell us? That's the important thing. Uh, what is she trying to tell us? Look at her, man. She's retreated into her shell in the middle of the day. And that means only one thing. It means she knows trouble is about to strike from the heavens. Law uh, of okay, I believe you. Oh, rules of nature. Yeah. Uh, mind if I take the snail? Good man, Wallace. I see you at least appreciate the seriousness of the situation. Eh, I'm sure it'll come in handy somehow. If people don't believe what an old soldier has to say, perhaps they'll listen to the snail. I'm sure they will. You're looking at my case, aren't you, Wallace? Well, I suppose I was, Major. Bet you'd like to know what's inside. An I embarrassing am... snapshot of SpongeBob at the Christmas party. Grotein bars. Grotein. Rations, Wallace. Emergency rations for... Emergency, something's been stockpiling them since the war. Enough hmm. nutrition in them to feed Which war? the fire for a whole day. And very tasty they look too. Tasty? They're full, but packed with high strength protein. I'd love to try one. Out of the question, I'm afraid. You don't have clearance. And besides, protein bars are only issued in the event of civil emergencies. Orders are orders, Wallace. But it is an emergency. Did you see the snail? No point in showing her to me, old man. I'm already aware of the danger. Show her to the others. The unbelievers. Ah, I mean, I can try. Uh, anything over here? Yes, there is. Hey there. Ah, Mr. Wallace. Mr. Wallace, I've got something for you. Much obliged. I don't know what it does, but okay. Have you come to deliver my order? Uh, it's not quite ready. Ugh, yet, what the hell is that? A comma right before an ellipses. I hate it. After yesterday's little incident. Oh, no. You can count on from B to you. But have you seen the snail? Just bear with me for a moment, Mr. Paneer. Major Crumb wanted me to show you this. That's a snail, Mr. Wallace. I know. Why are you showing me a snail? Well, it's in its shell, you see. And according to Major Crumb, when a snail goes into its shell during the day, 
it means we can expect untold airborne activity of an unpleasant nature. Go home, Wallace, and get some rest. Reckon you've been overdoing the inventing? Well, I tried. Don't forget, Mr. Wallace, 50 gallons by sunset. Oh. Okay, that was worthwhile. Oh, that just made me stop. Pity it's closed. Oh, I could murder a sausage roll or two. Let's check out the mail. Now that's a fine looking post box. It would make a good chassis for my honey powered vacuumatic, but that's tomorrow's project. Eh, let's get to stealing. Wonder if the landlord would be interested in subscribing to my honey service. No sense in looking for new orders when I haven't fulfilled the first. Let's see. How about hey, you? Wallace, love. What business? So, Wallace, in the honey business now, I hear. The bread baking thing uh, ran into a few snags. I have. It's all over town. This will never get off the ground. Stupid idea, if you ask me. And nobody did. Couldn't get honey out of a honey jar, that one. Excuse me, I invented a rocket that made it to the moon. Misery got sometimes. Uh oh. It's not closing time yet. That was worthwhile. All right. Hey, it's Do a snail. Anything about snails, Mrs. Gabberly? I know they eat them in continental parts. Well, yes, but do you think there's anything special about this one? To be honest, I couldn't rightly tell. Okay then. Morning, Constable Dibbins. You're off to an early start today. Not planning any more visits to the shops, are you? Oh, no. Yesterday was a one-off. I'm in town on business. Is that so? Look, it's a snail. May I show you something, Constable Dibbins? Is it important? It might be. That's a snail, Wallace. Do you notice anything peculiar about it? Only the person what's holding it. Right, well, we'll get somewhere, I'm sure of it. Just kind of glide right across the edge. Well, did you do as I asked? I'm working on it. We're getting somewhere. Gotta worry about the controls here. Looks like there's nothing over here. Okay, looks like I've explored the whole world. That's convenient. It's not too big. Hey. It's a snail. I realize this may seem a trifle irregular, but Major Crumb insisted I show you this. It's... Uh, oh. Uh, oh. A snail? In my garden. Is that bad? Oh. Sorry, I'm just drinking some water. Lost your mind, Wallace. Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. But on the plus side, it's an emergency. Let's go get that grow team. What the? Um. Okay, I guess my street's gone now. Oh, and I get it. He would have gone this way. I assume at least. The quickest way in, perhaps, but not the most pleasant. Okay, so is he in my basement or something? 
Let's take a look. Or maybe I can get some crackers. It's a comfort to know we're well stocked with biscuits. Let's take a look in the basement. Wallace, there he is, good. Heavens, you made it to the shelter. I've given you up for lost. Caught in the crossfire, were you? All right. Taking a bit of a second here. About those groating bars of yours. Rations, Wallace. Emergency rations for emergencies, obviously. Beat stockpiling them since the war. Enough nutrition in them to feed a man under fire for a whole day. It's like a senzu bean. If they look too. Tasty. They're foul, but packed with high strength protein. I'd love to try one. Out of the question, I'm afraid. You don't have clearance. And besides, protein bars are only issued in the event of civil emergencies. Orders are orders, Wallace. Excuse me. Hi, George, this oh, is there we go. Good. Private drop it. I hereby issue you one protein bar. Guard it well and see that it lasts you all day. I think I'll There's eat it now. You, Much obliged. I think I'll eat it now. Okay, so there we go. We got the protein bar. Uh, I guess we can kind of just go toss it in the mixer. Oh. Careful, Wallace. Oh. You are heading into hostile territory. The enemy has clearly landed and most likely set up camp in West Wallaby Street. I'm glad that we just let this guy in our basement. What the blighters have done to our once peaceful neighborhood. If you make it back alive, you'll have to give us a full report. Oh, I need to kind of crack my neck. Your protein rations. The protein will keep your strength up, especially if you're captured. Brave lad. We'll keep the home fires burning. Okay, so I can't go upstairs with the protein bar, I guess. I mean, Gromit's got one, so it's not too big a deal. Let me see here. Now then, which ingredients am I still missing? Energides and strongium. Okay, I guess My it's taken care of. And a third percent complete. All right, so it still counts that I got protein. Let's see. Let me take a walk around a few areas of the house. Living room door stop. All right, it's a storage room now. I don't think I'm gonna find anything else here. So we'll just kind of go uh, looking around. I see you up there, squirrel. Is there uh, anyone else I can talk to? I'm assuming I'm not allowed Have in. Have you brought it, Mr. Wallace? I'm looking forward to your festival of crumpets, Mr. Paneer. I'm afraid you're banned from my store, Wallace. Uh -huh. Due to the devastation caused yesterday by your invention. I'm ever so sorry, Chuck. Okay. That looks like... Can it really be... Jeans. Indeed it is, Wallace. Wensleydale, your oh. favorite. Wensleydale. Am I to take it that these are... Yes, free samples. Go on, duck in. I don't mind if I do, Mr. Paneer. One for now. And one for later. Okay. I don't know if there's anything worthwhile Mr. in Wallace, it. 50 gallons by sunset. Anything else I can do? I can yell at this guy. Hey, Wallace, love. How's business? Mr. Gabberly. Got away. Went to Timbuktu. Won't be back until spring. Ah, oh, that's a shame. So, might you be interested in signing up for my honey deliveries, Mrs. Gabberly? Fresh daily. I should say so. I'm partial to a spot of honey for my tea. Where's the money? We'll never see honey for tea. Or breakfast, for that matter. Oh, shut up, you. Our Wallace knows what he's doing. 
he's got a head for business. I have run multiple businesses that... I took it for a parsnip! One episode at a time, at least. Again, I just want to remind everyone that I made it to the moon. So why does it give me the option to look at it if that's all it's going to do? on it yesterday and it's already fallen a foul of the law well if it isn't Wallace I had a notion you'd be nosing around the police station this morning here on business you say Wallace what line are you in these days honey constable Gibbons from B to you pipe fresh to your home or workplace daily do you have a sweet tooth constable I have been known to dollop it on a crumpet now and again. Then perhaps you'd like to subscribe. I only procure my honey from a reputable sources. Hey. That's no fair. Okay, so let's see. Let me try talking to you again. I don't understand the delay. It's only 50 gallons of honey. Well, the bees get a bit confused. They're on the modern metric system, you see. <laughs> Takes them a while to do the conversion. Ooh. <laughs> that is good. I like that. Okay, so what next? Let's take another look at the trash. No flowers in here. Oh, uh, we try. Do you have anything worthwhile to say? Have you noticed? I put a new roof on Mr. Nutter's house. Oh, it's your squirrel. Surely you're acquainted with our neighbor, Mr. Nutter, the squirrel. Uh, I'm not on first name terms with any of the neighborhood animals, I'm afraid. What about Granite? Oh, he's oh, my dog. He isn't either. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm gonna get too much just by commenting on various things. I'm probably not gonna find too much there. See, I'm trying to think logically, and obviously that's not really a good idea. Let's head upstairs. Maybe there's something in here I can work with. Last night, bedtime snack. Gorgonzola makes a nice change from Wensleydale. Okay, so I've got that in my inventory now. I don't know what I can do with it, but I have it. <sighs> Time for a nap. Oh, no, better not. Can I take the record? Phew, that'll put me right to sleep. All right, uh, hmm. you know what? I'm thinking maybe I should start playing this safe. There we go. Feel free to start giving me hints more often. I could use it. I very much could. Silicon flowers. Can't feed those to my bees. They demand the organic variety. Me porridge gun. Could prove fatal if it fell into inexperienced hands. Hasn't killed anyone yet. Okay, uh, not too much else to do here. Let's head into the basement. Might be something in there I missed. You see, Private Grummet, I told you he'd make it back to us alive. Our Wallace is a fighter. Bagged a few of those blighters, did you? What else? 
house. I need flowers for my machine, Major Crumb. It works on flower power. Not one of those wretched hippies, <laughs> are you, Wallace? I can look at posters, but that's not going to do me too much good. What about you, Gromit? Chum, slip me that protein bar Major Crumb gave you. You'll do no such thing, Private Gromit. I gave you your protein bar for the day, Wallace. I won't have you catching another from the enlisted men. Okay. Oh, what's this? What's the news from above, citizen? Chaos and destruction? Ouch! What did you expect, Wallace? You can't snatch a soldier's helmet like that and not hear about it. Let's see. Bye, Major. Stiff up a lip. My workers are very devoted to their queen. Okay, well, I can take this now. Doesn't do me any good, but I can take it. Uh, what do you have to say, Got Major? To get your mind off the carnage up there. Would you like to hear one of my old war stories? Mm, I'd help pass the time. Well, I hate to. Uh, oh, of course you would. I brought visual aids. I can still see. Yeah, it's fine. You guys can go back to your hive. I got my work done. Oops, fire map. Now then, which ingredients am I still missing? Did I happen to pick something? No. Okay, um... Hmm. Let me think here. I've got the glow team bar, so we're good there. Hmm. What next? Get that. Where did... Have you seen the photos of Major Crumb as a new recruit? I why did that come over? They're quite interesting. He used to be younger. <laughs> okay, um huh. Let's see here. Okay. You examine the visual aids. All right, it looks like I need to talk to Constable Dibbins again, which is, you know, that's admittedly sort of an issue here, because I've, I've talked to him a couple times now, all right? Maybe the problem was just that I didn't have the cheeses to advance the next part of the story. But again, that's sort of the issue with these kinds of games. Like, they're very, there is very little... Uh, Return to the scene of the crime. Logic, I guess. You can rely on from B to you for your honey needs, Constable. As our motto says, all the sweet and none of the sting. So long as it's nothing like your Sniffer 3000 cheese detecting device. Okay, let's keep Put talking. Your mind at ease, Constable. All our bees are funded and insured. Hmm, not killer bees from abroad, are they? Certainly Ooh, not. Those things are horrifying. You ever see those things like they sting you? Like your skin dissolves. And it's horrifying. Is that so? Well, if Mr. Paneer's prepared to take a chance on you, I suppose I can too. Okay, now. So can I sign you up for my honey service, Constable Dibbins? I'll pop over to Mr. Paneer's and have a taste, if I like it. And there's no undesirable side effects. We'll see. Okay, let's see. So can I sign Okay. Now if I go over to here, does it work? 
I hope they're not being too rough with me Sniffer 3000. Me poor Sniffer 3000. At the door. I... Hmm. Well, what were those three miracle ingredients again? Yeah. I used the last of me energized the other day. To fuel up me Sniffer 3000. Okay, so there you go. So that's a useful hint. I hope they're not... But the problem is, I don't know how to actually get in here to get it. So can I stop it? Maybe I need to show him something. Maybe the remote. No good. The sniffer three thousand must be out of range. So can I? Uh. Oh, here you go. That doesn't make any sense. Must be awfully hot under that helmet, I reckon. A sunny day like today. It's a trifle sweltering, yes. But danger and discomfort are all in the line of duty for an officer of the law. Though most folk don't appreciate it. Okay, now let's see. It said put the... Put that in there, it said. Okay. So that's so something. I, mm, I absolutely never would have guessed that myself. Okay, I'm going to go back to the the other walkthrough. It was a bit more detailed. Let's see. News agents. Yellow flowers. Okay. Okay, apparently there's some yellow flowers over here. I mean, I see those ones. Hey, up, Wallace, love. How's business? Drop by any time. Mr. Gabberly. Gladly call again during opening hours. Uh, uh let's see. Opening hours. opening hours is when we're not sure. Oh, okay, I can do that. Okay, that's handy. Hmm. Well, what were those... Miracle. Yeah, no, I know. Look at the wedge, okay. Uh, I couldn't help but notice the flowers on your window ledge, Mrs. Gabberly. I lovely, aren't they? Bring a touch of summer to the town square. Especially the purple pansies. Always been partial to pansies, me. You should see the flat. It's full of them. They're blinking weeds, if you ask me. Can't abide them. Oh. Oh, go and suck a lemon, you moaning ninny! Ah. Oh, now look what you've done, you clumsy old! And open up that window when I'm yelling at you! All right, <laughs> but only to prove your insults don't get to me anymore. <laughs> I can hmm. deflect them all. Is that so? Okay, then. I'm surprised the pot did not break. But all right. I'd be happy to take these flowers off your hands, Mrs. Gabberly. That is, if they make your husband unhappy. That's a good reason to keep them to my way of thinking. But go ahead if you want them. Much obliged. Okay, so let's try this. Pardon me, Mrs. Gabberly. I wonder, uh, that is, could you spare a... Verb. Sorry? Give me a verb, Wallace. An action word. Oh, uh, playing a word game, are we? In a manner of speaking. Okay, oh, that's well, according to the guide. That's what we do. A verb. Uh, let's see here. I mean, uh, chew. I mean, that's a chew is an action. Ooh, I like that. That's a good one. Uh -huh. Now I need a thing. A thing? Aye, you know, something physical you could touch. So a noun. Something I can touch. Let's... How about stew? Why not? Now a descriptive word, if you please. Hmm. And according to the guide? Uh, mild? Oh, oh, oh that's a corker, that is. <laughs> Last one, nearly done. 
I need another thing. Or like a person or animal. A person or animal? Hmm, now, let me see now. Gentlemen? Yes, that's a thing. Hey! What is it now? Oh, chew! That's chew, Pops! You mild gentleman! Hey! You do know how to wound a bloke, Winnie! Okay, well that got me the other four hours at least. All right, let's take Would you these. Mind, uh, if I, uh, that is, could you see your way fit to lending me that pot of pansies, Mrs. Gabberly, uh, for business purposes? Business purposes? My guest, I've got bunches of them. Okay, good. Now. Okay. Oh, there's Miss Sniffer 3000. Banged up like a common criminal. It breaks my heart. That cheese detector's not a bad machine. Just a bit over keen. It's all the energites in its system. Energites? It seems to me... Yes. Energites is one of the ingredients in Rex Armstrong's Quick Pro Muscle Formula. I use my last Energite battery to fuel the sniffer. I'll have to get it back if I want to finish the formula. I like that it's locked in a cell. Like that's great. Okay, now it said use over there. Now, apparently, what I can do is remote. Set it to Wensleydale. The sniffer's just trying to get to the cheese, but the machine sounds like it's crying. Okay, oh, so that's what it was talking about. My eye just watching. Okay, yeah, see, because I was following a spoiler-free guide, and so that made it... Sign you up for... it. And that made it... I couldn't exactly tell what it was trying to say, basically. Oh, sniffer 3000. Okay, um... Oh, how can I relax while Miss Sniffer 3000 languishes behind bars? I got that, but, like... How do I... How do I relay the message? Oh, okay, I get it. So if I'm like over here and I use it. No, I, I get it. Okay, maybe the hints are a bit too frequent. Let's uh, fix that. Sometimes, that's good. No good. The snip. No, can't do that. So then, I mean, I, I obviously need to do this. If I try that. Nothing detected. The snippers just dry it to my heart. Okay. So now if I go talk to him, does it change? So can I help it? No. Uh, hmm. The sniffer th Let's try it again. Oh, no. The sniffer. Okay, see, I need to be here to use it. The slippers just near to my eye. So now what? 
Fear not, my little cheese-sniffing friend. Soon have you out of there. That mattress looks awfully hard. Just as well the Sniffer 3000 goes into sleep mode automatically. Okay, see now, like, how do I... Like, I got that, but... What, maybe if I use it, like, here it'll work? And then it, it goes over there. And I vanish. And the right click to exit prompt is still there. So I, I got it. Alright. I'm just trying to figure out how to actually do it. Uh. I don't have anything to really mention with it. Not all night. Is there something else here I can do? The sniffer. See, there he is. We are not. But what do I... What do I do with it? See, so yeah, now I can look at it, but okay, petition next to okay, okay, there's something else I have to actually do. God, this game is yes. really confusing. And I notice it's attracted the signatures of just one man and his dog. We're only appealing for natural justice. But your blinking cheese detector thing of what do you call it, destroyed an entire grocery store. Uh, the teething problems. It's still only a prototype. A prototype? It's a villain, if you ask me. A diabolical device. You can see that in its face. That's no fair. Isn't evil, Constable Dibbins? It's just got a short fuse and a few loose nuts. Hmm, we'll see. I'm going to formally interview this glorified tin can of yours, and if it can convince me that it's not a menace to society, then perhaps I'll release it into your custody. Okay. Oh, how can I relax? So now we can you there, work over prisoner. here. Kindly look at me when I'm talking to you. Let's try that. That's more like it. So let's see. Now you've had time to think. What can you tell me about what happened yesterday? Feel bad about what you did, do you? Okay. He's weeping. Maybe this contraption's got feelings after all. Now, I want a truthful answer. If I release you from custody, will you do it again? Okay, now if we try this one, we should be good. There we go. Well, I'll be damned. The prisoner has been interviewed. Yes. And having exhibited signs of repentance, I am prepared to release you into your protective custody. Provided, Wallace. You give me an assurance that you'll keep your blinking eye on him. Or it. Or whatever he answers to. Oh, 
There we go. I'll keep an eye on him, Constable Gibbons. You have my word on that. Okay, so we got the Energides. Now, apparently, I can actually just do this. Ooh, wow, that was instant. Mmm. Gotta love that. Okay, so let me give him the flowers. Okay, this took a second there. Let's see how you like the golden rods. There we go, another good drop. Alright, let's try the next one. We got purple pansies. I'll wait a second for it to load. Okay, no more, but it's a little bit. Okay, so that's that. Now I need to figure out where the hell this is. Okay. Okay, hmm. Man, the steps on this are real crazy. Apparently I need to get some toast. Oh, hold on, there was some on the, uh... Saw some right there. Cold toast. Shame to let it go to waste. Okay, so now I head outside. I'm sorry, I am very much just following a walkthrough by the letter right now. I would never figure this shit out. I'm just being honest with myself and trying not to waste all your time. Hey, hey. Hey, guess what? Here you are, little fella. Try some toast. Yes, do feed him. I'm sure the little mite's hungry. for exactly you've come buzzing back mr Wallace. Should purple flowers As a and patch near see you won't the seed okay then so i guess i need to go get more purple flowers it would seem Yeah, okay, there's another, uh, another pot right over there. Good. Okay. I'll just go ahead and take those. Back to here. Okay, then. Use purple pansies with purple pansies. Miss Lid, if you'll just take a look at the pansies, I think you'll... I told you, Mr. Wallace. I refuse to let those yellow hooligans have the satisfaction of... Oh, Apple. You see, they're mending their ways. They just needed a firm talking to, that's all. Mother forgives you. You naughty little pansies. Sweet okay, good. So that got us our, gets us our last ingredient. Because it was strong EMT. tea. I had already forgotten that. Okay, back inside. It's telling me that I need to go in here. So that's where the dog tags went. I'm sure Gromit will be glad to get them back. Okay. Now we've got something. I'd better double check the recipe. Yes, that's the lot. Grotein, Energides, and Strongium. Everything I need to whip up a tip top growth formula. Hey, hey. Okay, so now. Oof. Ah, alright. 
I, I looked ahead a little bit in the guide. I, I see the, uh... I see the steps that they, that they want. That'll put me right to sleep. Yeah, okay, now how do I take it, though? Okay, I don't want to just examine it. I want to take it. Hmm, doesn't seem like I can. Let's see here. Okay. Maybe I was wrong. Okay, I was probably supposed to be paying attention to his stories. That's likely what they're referring to. Okay, well, let's just skip that part. Hey. I thought you might find this useful, Major Crumb. A helmet? Hey, George Wallace, there's nothing like a good helmet. Makes a fellow want to put himself in the path of projectiles. If you know what I mean. Sounds like not sure I get it. A soldier, Major Crumb. Well, Wallace, why the past tense? Uh, oh dear. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Something you civilians will never cross. And I'd be happy to prove it by charging into the fray. That is, if I had a sturdy helmet, which I have, but I couldn't go into battle until I'd been officially recommissioned. And I'd need to find someone to take charge of this shelter and distribute the protein bars. All right. Huh? Here you go. I found these in the hall, Major Cromans. I've been recommissioned. Bound to happen, of course. All right, Major Gromit. Good military material sitting on the shelf. My place is in the treasures. By thunder, I'm a soldier again. Sir George is ready for his dragon. And yet, duty compels me to remain here. No one else to guard the protein bars. Confounded sense of duty. All right, now we talk to Gromit. Gromit could do the job. Private Gromit. Can I entrust my precious cache of protein bars to a Pongo? Is that yes, racist? Sir, he's proven himself a trusty foot soldier. Yes. If I am called away to the front, I'd feel comfortable leaving Private Gromit in charge. Good heavens. I shouldn't be skulking around in a cellar like a frightened rat. I'm a soldier by thunder! Private Gromit, I hereby appoint you officer commanding this air raid shelter. Pia, you pass out the rations. I've got a war to win. Charge! Oh, you take care of that then. I'll just go ahead and grab another protein bar. To get my hands on a protein bar. Huh. <laughs> Taking your duty very seriously, Gromit. Request dispensation of grotein bars, uh, soldier. There we go. Have to go through the official channels, you know. Okay, well, we finally got all three ingredients. Now that we're done with this side quest, let's see how much of this game I can figure out without needing to consult the damn guide. One unit of energized fluid for a creamy finish. One dose of strongium into the mix. <laughs> and finally, some grotein. One generous chunk of grotein to give it texture. Now to mix up my very own quick grow muscle formula. With the wrapper and everything. Looks delicious. To do it. No, the mixomatics all mixed up. Stop! Stop! Help! Drum it! Oh, okay. Well, you got up here real fast. And away we go. Sprouted yet, Mr. Wallace? <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, Miss Flit. Really? I don't see what you're hoping to. Oh. 
It's a miracle. Enterprise can get you. If I hadn't found that flyer you chucked in the bin, I'd never have been able to concoct my miracle grow formula. And then where would we be? You really must be careful what you chuck out, huh? you know? Uh, Lincoln, Nora. Oh, All right. my word. I think I'm going to faint. Well, let's, uh, let's uh, cut the flowers. This ought to be plenty of fuel for the old pollinator. I don't think they're going to have much use for the stem, though. All right, we're good to go. Let's get some honey. To the basement. And away we go. That is 50 gallons of honey. Where'd the tree? Where'd the truck come from? I mean, tea and crumpet festival. Pleasure doing business with you, Wallace. Always aim to please our bees. That's the last of our bills from it, and we've got just about enough left over for that little holiday we've been planning. Back this to the moon, perhaps? See, Blackpool. Oh, oh, yes, lad. I think our money troubles are over at last. Air raid! Air raid! Battle oh stations everywhere! Not this again. Excellent vantage point. Prepare for a crash landing, you devils! Sorry, Wallace, but I'm going to have to come near your dining room. Now, just a minute, Major Cross. No time to argue, old man. The whole town is No. <laughs> it's deadly in the wrong hands. An egg from it. Giant bees. Doctor Bees can help. Civilians out. But that's an order, Wallace. Private Gromit. Kindly. I like the fact that Wallace is that Gromit is officially recognized. But Wallace is not. There's a good bit of quite extra. Okay. Queen and country soldier. So oh, now what? Heavens, Gromit. You don't suppose those monsters have anything to do with our honey making operation, do you? Bumbling egg. That is a big one. My quick grow formula. It didn't just affect the flowers. Just hope it's a wrong number and not more bad news. I mean the wrong number would be bad news in its own way. Yes, Mr. Paneer. Uh, well, of course you're upset. Being dive-bombed by giant bees isn't good for any business. Uh, we're doing all we can to get the situation under control. Uh, normal honey service will be resumed as soon as possible. With normal-sized bees. That's a promise. I mean, you got the honey. My deal is done. Soup, lad, and it's shaped like a bee. They're taking over the town. Time to read the riot act. I am their employer, after all. Oh, well, that's. I guess we can start swatting them with that tennis racket. Oh, they won't listen. They're completely out of control. This funny business has a sting in the tail, and no mistake. Oh. Do something for me. Hello, from B to Oh, Constable Dibbins. Okay, let's see. I thought I saw some stuff land on the floor. I'll grab that. Ah, uh, Mr. Gavel here. I ain't much good at least in humble pie. But I spoke out of turn yesterday. Well, that's nice You're of him. Yeah, I'll take it all back. You're a credit to the town. Just a minute. What's this? Ah! 
I'll just go ahead and take that. So, uh, let's... Let us go out and fight the swarm. Oh, and I can grab all of his equipment, I guess. That's certainly an interesting way to swap, uh, your equipment between... party members, I guess. I shall go out and combat the swarm. It's okay, just let it sting you once. It'll die. Alright, hold on. I still got that tennis racket. I thought so. Okay, it won't let me do that. Let's see, what can I find in Town Square? Can I use the tennis racket with these ones? I suppose not. Oh, I'm glad that you're still. Oh, stop a while, will you? Got no one to natter with today, and you're a real good listener. Ooh, blinking Nora, look at Mr. Paneer, shut up in his shop like a prisoner, and all on account of a few blinking bees. You don't see Winnie Gabberly chucking in the towel, didn't close during the Hedgehog Riots of 72. Oh, I remember I those. Now. All the recolors. They were horrible. I, I ain't going back to flat with old man Gabberly. Not till he says he's sorry. Tossed out all me pansies, he did. Okay, well. Let's try it. Ah, Mr. Gabbley here. I ain't much good at eating humble pie. But I spoke out of turn yesterday. You're not a daffy. Oh, I figured not. something out by myself. Dogs come limping home. There now. Weren't so hard, were it? Is that you, Winnie? Breaking code of silence, are you? No need for silence now you've shown a bit of humility. Humility? Me? Never. Oh, you don't fool me. You're just a big old softy, and I know it. I need me head examined, keeping shop open when town's crawling with giant bees. What's got into you, Winnie? Stay back, I say. Ooh, I don't want, I don't want to know what's oh, happening in there. Winnie, gabble. But we got something done, so that's nice. Let's go talk to the... Okay, maybe not. It's you. Don't tell me. You want me to do something about the giant bees. It's almost like it's your job or something. Yes, all right. Then buzzing bandits will feel the full weight of the law, mate. No mistake. But, uh, well, it's complicated. Don't know what the charges would be, exactly. No, hey, listen, I've seen hot fuzz. You'll just go after the geese with your baton. Do the same with the bees. But rest assured, I'm looking. I mean, being, I think, honestly, you could probably charge him with being a public menace. Yours, he left Summit behind. There was another cheese, too. But I kept it for me sandwich. Fair payment for me troubles, says I. <laughs> All right, well, I'll take that, then. Let's see, what now? Can I do something with this? 
I guess not. Hey, what's up? Oh, they don't want me conversing with this man. I will take a free sample though. Hey, excuse me. It's a free sample. I am allowed to take what I want. What else we got going around? No, Crobbit. Only bad dogs rifle through the rubbish. I think it's hardly your concern. You Crobbit? Up here. Now, listen to me. Nice doggy woggy. I'm trapped in this. I mean, being in the tree would not help you from the bees. They can fly, you understand. Take a message to your master. I need him to get me down from here. Can you tell him that? Oh, uh, wait a minute. Give him this. Okay. A note. Okay. Oh, tell him to uh. hurry. I, I can't hold on much longer. Just take care of that. Let's see. He was in the hiding in the kitchen. Let's give him the SOS. That's nice, Gromit. In case you haven't noticed, we're in the middle of a bee situation. I'm on the phone with Constable Dibbins. You can show hey. me your artwork afterwards. Hi, right, okay then, uh, something I can do about the phone? So maybe there's something I need to do to get him off the phone so that I can talk to them. Let's, let's take a look at the bookshelf, all right? Okay, I was hoping for something a little bit more. Yeah, let's deal with the normal bees while I can. That's right, soda! Help steady my aim! Ah. Oh, yeah, I actually got one of them, damn. Maybe not so much. Blast! Missed him! Oh, bee does aid to you, sir! Uh, there's a lot of lag in the uh, in the shot. I don't fucking think so. Get the hell down. Nothing quickens the old house like getting off a few rounds of ammunition. Wonder what else we can shoot at. Bullseye. Oh. Ah, I got it. I'll give him the tennis racket. See, I'm capable of figuring things out. I feel like I need to assure this because it's actually very concerning that I needed as much help as I did. There we go. Now we can figure something out here. Private Grummet, it's looking grim out there. Let's go. What man, Private Grummet? Help me bring these blighters down. Okay. Got him. Oh, and got away. Okay, yeah, you need to wait for that cutscene to come by, then you shoot the gnome. That knocks him out. Now let's wait for another one. Hold on, let's see. Maybe I can... There we are. That's what I thought. 
into the dustbin of history for you, my friend. Now, if I shoot this over here, I might be able to cover the... What I need to go back outside. Let's see. What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I need to figure out some sort of a way to like get this thing to like jump back up or something. I don't know why I can't. Like I should be able to like shoot it, and the the force would. What else out here can I interact with? I would say. Okay, I can do that. Into the dustbin of history for you, my friend. Okay, so that does that. But I still can't actually hit him. Alright, now if I... There we go. Okay, so that's number two solved. Why can't I... I'm it. Missed him. Hold on, I'm just trying to figure this one out. Maybe, like, I run back outside or something? Into the dustbin of history for you, my friend. Can I do it manually, perhaps? That doesn't the feel right, but I can try it. No, that's not right. So let me see here. Yeah, I, can't, he I can't interact with that, so that it's means I must. I didn't give him the flowers he wanted, isn't it? Let's see. News from the front, whipping the curves, are we? I. Let's see. All right then. Uh, nope. Was too. Blast! Back in the air! Blast it! Hmm. You head on over here. Into the dustbin of history for you, my friend. Now maybe if I like shoot. You, you'll fall on it. That was worth a try, I suppose. Oh, there we go. Perfect. There we are. Got him. I feel like a young man again. Calls for a celebration, Private. Meet you in the mess in 20. Okay. So that takes care of that. Now, can I just get you out of the tree? Because there's no more bees to worry about. Yeah, things are pretty calm out here now. Good heavens! Where is that master of yours? Did you give your master the note? Oh, you bad dog! Do as Miss Split tells you, and I'll give you a treat. Listen, there's no more bees, it's fine. You I don't gotta worry about it. Look what those... Okay, maybe you could be off the phone now. It's a possibility. Nope. Let me take a look in the basement. What do we have down here? Oh, we got a party. Glad I got down here. It's 
to rip row in good time. Okay, hold on. Hmm, it doesn't seem like I'm able to do anything there. What else do I have in my inventory? Note, remote. Maybe if I use it like right down here or something. Try and toss it up there. Yeah, they just look at you all funny. Maybe they'd prefer some Wensleydale. Perhaps not. I mean, they're in my inventory. Yeah, there we go. That's what I figured. Good try, idiots. He's having just a great time. Excellent. And I can just fit right inside, eh? Okay, so maybe now if I throw cheese up here, it'll work. Maybe not, though. Huh, they won't even let me put it in when it's right next to me. One step done, but there's not really anything else over here I can do. So, let's go up the stairs, Gromit. Alright, let me head. Anything I can do in here? Guess not. Alright. Let me head upstairs. Because I might be able to get that other record. Oh, hey there. Okay. Well, if he's in bed, guess he's gonna be pressing, pulling the lever right down here. No, no, not upstairs. Crash with him. There we go. One more soft. I'm starting to get into a little bit of a groove here. Now let's grab that uh, record. Excellent. See, now I should be able to hopefully put everyone to sleep downstairs. It's worth a try. I'm amazed they managed to make so much of a hive already. Let's see, where is it? But yeah, I can't get close enough is the problem. Let's see, maybe if I put the record in the hatch... Nope, won't let me do that. Let's think. Yeah, I can get in, but I can't do anything while I'm in there, is the problem. I feel like the solution is I need to get cheese in there, like up there, so that it will... so that I can drive it up to the top, at which point I can then switch out the record. 
I'm pretty sure that's the solution to this puzzle. The problem is I can't I don't have a way to get the cheese up there. Maybe Maybe if I take the porridge gun from upstairs and move it down here, I can shoot it right at the at the record. It's a distinct possibility is all I'm saying. Oh, that's not it though. No honey, it would seem. Yeah, and I can't grab the gun. I don't think I can do anything with the synthetic flowers. Let's see, what else could it be at this point? Hmm. All right, let's take a look around here. Take the... Okay. Looks like there's still one more piece I'm missing. I need to grab this. Careful with the auto flip frying pan, lad. The timer mechanism is very delicate. It's liable to spring at odd moments. Oh, hey, isn't that just what I wanted to hear? In fact, let's uh, just walk right over there right now. Let's see here, they were referring to this one. I think. Let's see. Let's see here. Ah, right there. That is a very narrow thing I can click on. Now, if I were to... Okay, I mean, I, I did something. I don't know what it is, though. Nothing I can interact with there. Let me try this. Hmm. Hey, yeah, so that would be the clue that I'm supposed to do something over here. The thing is, I can't seem to actually interact with it. No, no, go away. Just trying to go over here. Hmm. I can try it with a couple of the things over here. Doesn't seem to be anything I can do to put the awning back up, though. Why is that dog larking about down there? Hey, you know, man, Chuck. Oh dear.
Huh. So that's the thing, because it was telling me use the, uh, like I want to use the frying pan on the awning, but I don't really have anything. I can't interact with it right now. And that's really where I am. Okay, there we go. I can put it there. Got it. So now I go over to here. I get this. Hmm, no. That's not quite it. Okay, but I, I see the basic idea. Listen, how my canine constable. It's in strictly police procedure, but I might see me way clear to uh, deputize you. Just temporarily, mind, until this bee problem is taken care of. Hey, ain't that nice. Would you like that? Right. I hereby deputize I'm a deputy. Him. Go get him, boy. But don't hurt him. That'd be police brutality. Catch him alive if you can. Yeah, and uh, who's ever heard of a police officer hurting someone, really? Something's there, I can... I still can't interact with this though. Like, I feel like the awning is not actually supposed to be down right now. Look, that's my current concern. How long does it generally take? I'll wait here, I want to see. Okay, it didn't even go off. Uh, like, what that, like, what's going on here? Why isn't this working? I get the idea. My problem is just the... Like, did I completely fuck this up is my question. That's really my question. Did I completely fuck this up? I mean, they let me put it here, and they're not letting me pick it back up. Oh, oh, hold on. There we go, so I can still. It was just super hard to see for whatever reason, and I could barely click on the damn thing. Okay, now let's try it again. There we go. That looks good. Sorry for the delay, Mr. There Pinnier. it is. I think you'll find the streets are now B3. Thank heavens for the boys in blue. Now, I'll have to ask you to accompany me to the station. There's some paperwork we need to fill out. Nothing too bothersome. Happy to do my part. It's citizens like you what make my job a pleasure, Mr. And now that they're busy filling out paperwork, Wallace will no longer be on the phone. So we can head right back. Why is that so instantaneous? It's nice. I 
I know Constable Bibbins. Well, yes, like I said, he's very well trained. Right then, goodbye, Constable. Good work, lad. Seems you took care of the downtown gang good and proper. West side. So long as they're still supersized, our job's only half done. I'd better get to work on a reverse growth formula. Okay, he's still up here. Yes, he is. Good. Now, we use the note. What's this, lad? An SOS note? From Miss Flit. Why didn't you show it me earlier? Hang on, Miss Flit. Help is on the way. Ow! It's no use, lad. The bees outside may be neutralized, but the ones inside are still buzzing mad, and they won't let me leave. It's up to you, Gromit. Okay, so I need to do something about the ones in the basement. Can the, will the crackers help? The crackers don't seem to be too helpful. It was worth a try, I would say. And uh, I can't click on the, uh, there we go. Okay, maybe now that there's like a quest active, it'll work. Ah, that makes sense. Okay. Again, looking at the guide. No, I'm not trying to talk to you. I would like to go outside. Okay, I'll do it the other way then. Eh? Oh. Didn't accept it that time. It's cool. It's safe out here. Okay, see, what you do is you pick a cheese and you drop it down here. There you are. And now we head back inside, we go down to the basement, and the cheese is exactly where I need it to be. go. Aha, nicely, nice try, assholes. Driving you right up to the top. Let's put the music on. Guess I can't really do anything with that. It's fine. Don't worry about it. There we are. All the bees go right to sleep. Now we kill them all while we have the chance. It's the only way. All right, Wallace, we're good. You pacified all the bees, Gromit. Good lad. I knew I could count on you. That's right. Poor Miss Flit is still trapped in that tree, isn't she? 
I'm amazed you knew she was trapped in a tree. It's almost like you know too much. Seems I'm underdressed. Gracious! Hang on, Miss Flint. There we are. Must hit you. Telling you, Wallace so is a womanizing man. I'm afraid my miracle growth formula led to some uh, supersized problems. I hope you're going to get rid of the infernal stuff. Oh, I am. And rest assured, all the bees have been dealt with safely and humanely. Well, that's a relief. Oh, I was just kind of went all weird there. Face him down an angry swarm of giant bees all by yourself. Frightened? Oh, well, I, uh... Well, I was heavily outnumbered, of course, but uh, they soon saw who was boss and that the uh, sting was on the other foot. I was terrified. That's only natural, Miss Flint. Uh, uh, well, I had a twinge or two myself at times, you know, but keep a cool head. Oh. That's my motto. Where's it? That's a big old one. We've crossed Wallace to the Queen Bee. Never have mixed this growth formula at all. I ought to chuck it away. Hey, easy old girl. No need to get excited. Put me down gently, and no one will get I kind of wanted them to get to like get smacked into the billboard from Chicken Run. I would have to actually ask about that. I'll have to ask my dad and sister if there is anything in the manual. No, seriously, this is like the, uh, let's see, uh, I mean, I can look at this, let's put it on autopilot. Now I can start looking for the ladder controls. I'll take the crank. And let's change the radio station. Just put on some public radio. Smooth and smarmy. And I need to get out of the car first, though, I would think. There we go, right through the roof. Perfect. Oh, well, I can't reach it. All right. I guess we're done. Uh, what else can I interact? Here we go. What about this? Uh, okay, what else can I interact with? What's over here? Are any other controls on here I missed? It's a little difficult to tell with the, uh... With the, uh, with the, uh, thing shaking. Ah, there we go. I got it. And raise the ladder. That's a gun. What are you waiting for, Gromit? Raise the ladder. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on that part. What else can I interact with up here, though? Ah, all right. Let me. I need to probably put this away before I can use the ladder. I'm amazed that that thing is uh is already. Bring it up, lad. I'm getting tired of hanging around. 
But there's a gun on this thing. Okay, I guess that's not it. Uh, nope, wait, that's the same one. Hold on, what, what was he saying? You haven't lost the crank, have you? Ah, oh, okay. That's a crank hole. I thought it was a button. I just still have a bit of cheese. There you go. I heard those chickens. I'm assuming those are the ones from Chicken Run. Alright. Looks like it's up to us. Comment. Oh, okay, no, no, I accidentally hit that. There we go. Yep. No. Okay, I've gotten an idea. Hey, you're not from Chicken Run. Okay, let me run the wipers. How do I get back in the uh, in the driver's seat? Which button deals with the wipers? Is it this one? There we go. I got... Ah, I get it. Now I grab the feather. Now we climb up the ladder, and I tickle the bee. Heh, <laughs> bee. Oh, the poor autopilot. I like the periscope. Oh, good show. We've made it through this little episode in one piece. We still got the B problem now. Looks like our troubles aren't quite over. Look out behind you, Grummit. Keep her at bay. I'll try and lose her in here. It's a tunnel. There's nowhere to go. There we go. I just do it. I just kind of keep shooting her down. In the face. That didn't do it. Someone else I should be shooting? Do I just keep shooting her? I don't know. I'll try it. I'm starting to get the feeling it doesn't matter where I shoot her. Hmm. Maybe I just have to keep doing this enough? I don't know. It doesn't feel like I'm really doing anything. Do anything. I got some honey. Uh, that's helpful. This lets, me, this lets me like switch between the characters. What does this button do? That's a horn. Okay. Let's try the radio. Good. That sort of conks her out. Now, uh, middle button? What button switches back to grommet? Okay. But which button switches back to grommet? Oh, periscope, okay. Right, there we go, now we're sorta... Now we're slowing her down. Fire with fire. That's what the 
they always say, but why they'd say a daft thing like that, I'll never know. Doesn't seem like it's working. Let's try the other station. Maybe now we can get it right in her mouth. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, okay. That wasn't quite it. Hold on. Hmm. Alright, why isn't it working? I'm trying to shoot her in the mouth. We can hope. Maybe I wait a little bit. Huh. Maybe I would wait. Right when she starts laughing. That uh, doesn't seem to work. This is a very long tunnel. Let's try another station. That was just normal. Let's close the glove compartment. Turn off the windshield wipers. That, there we go. Uh, that button's that thing, and that one does the... What does this one do? Horn. Dear friend, tired of being pushed around, ready to unleash the giant within, uh, 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 must be taken internally. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so my, it sounds like my, like I need to shoot it into a mouth. That makes the most sense to me. The only problem is why can't I actually do it correctly? Or perhaps the other thing. Maybe I just need to be a little more accurate. No, because I was like hitting right in the middle of her mouth and it didn't work. I suppose it only works if it's yeah, I got that, and the guy just says shoot it into her mouth. But it's not working. Like every time I aim towards her mouth, I just get to maybe aim a little higher? Okay, that time I just missed entirely. Also, apparently this is the very end of it. Like, you're, you're seeing this. I'm aiming right at her mouth. Like, I'm not crazy here, right? Come on. Am I gonna have to look up a video walkthrough for this? 
see what the fuck you like where exactly you should be aiming. Okay, hey, uh, guess who's gonna? Okay, I can't even pause the game here. So, uh, give me a sec here. Guess who's gonna look up a fucking video walkthrough for his goddamn Wallace and Gromit game? Let's see. We play through. This guy did it in an hour and a half, so that's good. It's nice to just know that I'm really good at this game. All right, let's see here. Where exactly do they, where exactly does their cursor aim when it works? Okay, they aimed at sort of the bottom lower lip. Let's try that. Maybe I missed. I have a general area. Yeah, I, I tried there, okay? God's sakes. Let's see again. I accidentally clicked off of the uh, menu. Ah, that might be our problem. The guy didn't mention anything about that. Or maybe it did and I just wasn't looking in the right place. Let's see. Okay, it did. I just didn't see it. Alright then. I had to do that first. There was our problem. Let's go. Now it'll work. I don't know why it did- I don't know why they didn't just create a separate animation like where it goes into her mouth and it just doesn't do anything to say like, hey, maybe this doesn't work. We need to put something in the honey. I'm saying that would have, that would have tipped me off a little bit. And time. I thought you already said that. And we have a new pet. Though there is one small <clears throat> complication. Eh. I guess we'll just have to learn to live with this. And there we go. And that was the first episode of Wallace and Gromit's Grand Adventures. I really didn't think I was that bad at these games. I'm serious. I'm trying to remember, like, how much of a problem I had when I played Strong Bad's Cool Game for Attractive People or Back to the Future the game. I, I don't think it was this much. Which I guess... You know, it's a small area, the game runs pretty well, which for Telltale is honestly a pretty big, uh, pretty big compliment. Just, man, it's so difficult to figure stuff out. Like, I probably never would have figured this out without absolutely consulting a guide. But thankfully, guides exist, so I can get through these. You know, I'll keep playing next week. They'll do one episode a week. And we'll figure... 
I'm hoping that the later episodes are a little more coherent, easier for me to follow without checking a guide, because I don't like doing it, but we'll have to see how it goes. Because, you know, I, I just love these guys. I love Wallace and Gromit. They are so good. Fantastic. Just great characters. You should absolutely be like, go on Amazon Prime and watch the episodes, the four episodes of Wallace and Gromit. They are all very funny, very entertaining. Because you can't play this game anymore. And I gotta see the movie again, I really do. It's been a long time since I've seen it. And on, on that note with Ardman, I also need to see Pirate's Band of Misfits again. That was a great movie. And uh, Early Man was the newest one? I haven't seen that yet. I, I need to. I gotta see a lot of these movies. Except for Chicken Run. I've seen that movie many, many times in my life. So I'm pretty good there. Uh, Chip Tingle. Uh, related to Chuck Tingle, I will assume. Or just normal Tingle. So is there a reason they're not, like, why they haven't credited the voice cast yet? There it is. Ben Whitehead, that's the guy I was thinking of. And of course, I don't know any of these names, because they're not really... If they are well-known actors, I'm sure it's only in Britain. So, I can't help anything. I do have to wonder why Peter Salas didn't do the voice acting for this game. Because he did the other games. Uh, he was still... He was alive for a couple years after this. Like, seven years after this. I don't really know. Anyway, uh, since it's only a half hour... If we were way early, I would have just... I would have, like, downloaded episode two and gotten started on it. But since we're only a half hour early, I'm not really gonna go through that effort. We'll just... Get started on it next week. It'll be the same time. It'll still be on this channel as always. You can... Anything... You can fault me for a lot of things. Like the fact that I am terrible at this game. But you cannot fault me for consistency. I'm good at that. So we'll do all of that. And I will see you guys next week.